Odds are a little different than probability. Probability is the favorable outcomes out of the total outcomes that there are, whereas odds are the favorable favorable outcomes against or towards the non-favorable outcomes or unfavorable outcomes. So whereas probability is out of the total, odds written as a fraction or a ratio actually add up to the total. So the odds in favor of an event are the number of favorable outcomes to the number of unfavorable. And then you can also write things as odds against. And it's actually just the reciprocal or the fraction flipped. And it's the number of unfavorable to the favorable. So odds can be written as a ratio usually. So we can write this in the form of A to B or A to B with a colon. So, for example, the odds in favor of getting a 4 when rolling a number cube are 1 to 5 written out or 1 colon 5. So, there's one number 4 on a cube, so that's the one thing that is favorable. There's five numbers that are not a 4. That's the unfavorable. Together, 1 plus 5 add up to the six numbers on a die. So number one says, what are the odds of rolling a three on a six-sided number cube? So just like the four example, there's one three on a number cube. There are five numbers that are not a three. One, two, five, but one plus five equals six. Okay, what are the odds of picking a queen out of a standard deck of cards? Well, there are four queens, so that would be the favorable outcome. That means there are 48 cards that we wouldn't want. That would be unfavorable, the 52 minus the four queens. Together, 48 plus 4 equals 52. So a bag contains three red marbles, four green, seven blue, one yellow marble, and two white marbles. So I first like to add them all up, and we have a total of 17 in the bag. 17 marbles in the bag. So it says, what are the odds of picking a red marble? Well, Favorable would be 3, because there are 3 red, which means there are 14 that would be unfavorable or ones that aren't red. So 3, 2, 14. 3 plus 14 is 17. What are the odds of picking a green? 4 to 13. Odds of picking a white? 2 to 15. 2 plus 15 is 17. 2 we want, 15 we don't. What are the odds of picking a black? Not a trick question. Because there are no black marbles, it's just 0 to 17. So I'm going to skip over to the next page here. I'm going to do number 4 with you guys. At the top of the page, it asks you guys to find the odds in favor and the odds against. It wants you guys to do both. So I'm just going to do F for in favor and A for against. So the number four says rolling doubles. So if you think about this, um, we did that chart a couple lessons back where we filled out all the possibilities for rolling two no number cubes, like two die, two dice. So six times six gives you 36 outcomes. So you can flip back to that chart if you want to, but if you think of it, rolling doubles, how many doubles are there? There's ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. There's six options that would be doubles. So your odds would be six, and remember it's not out of the total. Six to thirty, and then odds against or not rolling doubles would be thirty to six. So number five, rolling a sum of three. We could have one and two, or two and one. So we've got two options of rolling a three. Thirty-four options of not rolling a three. And then rolling a sum of six. One and five, five and one, two and four, four and two, and three and three. 
And the doubles, just like in the first option, we only count this as one because they're not distinct ways. It's three, 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 three. They're the same way. So there are five options. Um, different ways to roll a six, which means there are 31 options of ways to not roll a six. Or a sum of six, rather.